Hello everybody, welcome to Revive. My name is Nemesis, this is DY Dragonfly, and we're here yeah. to talk to you about the new champ Nautilus. Uh, so, DY, I want to tell us about Nautilus' skill set. Well, so I picked up Nautilus the same day he came out. And he's a good champ, his skill set's amazing in my opinion. He has Staggering Blow, which is a one second snare on a single target every 12 seconds. It's different, so, it pretty much is. I'm going to hit this guy, he's going to be snared for a second, and 12 seconds later I can hit him again and he'll be snared again. But I can hit his buddy right afterwards and snare him too. That's what that means. His uh, dredge line's a really cool ability. It can pull him either to terrain or to enemy champs. And I feel like that was a really cool idea. Um, if it hits terrain, he lower the cooldown is a lot lower. It's like, I think max level about six seconds. And dredge line, if it hits somebody, it pulls them him to them and them to him. So they meet somewhere about the middle of that line. And the cooldown on that's like 13, 10, 13 seconds throughout the entire ranking of it. And a big one, his, my favorite ability on him, and one of his best, is definitely Titan's Wrath. It's a shield that gives him an AoE dot on anything he hits. And this is what you really level up when you're jungling him, because it gives you your sustain, it gives you... A lot of damage in the jungle, and it's on an insane long cooldown. So the more you level it up, the less the cooldown. It's about 19 to 20 seconds at max, depending on how much CDR you have. And then there's also or Riptide. Riptide's a really good ability to combo up with Dreadline because it causes a AOE slow in a team that has diminishing returns, though. So if they're hurt, hit by the first, um, if champions hit by the first ripple effect, and the you know they flash or do something to get away from you and get hit by one more or two more. They're still slowed, but it's not, you know, stacking 40, 40, 40. You know what I mean? It's more like 40, 30, 20, stuff like that. And I feel that was a really good choice on Riot's part because if it wasn't, it couldn't get away from this guy. It's still really hard to get away from this guy. And absolutely the best ability on him, just flat out, is his ultimate because it's insanely good. It's called depth charge, what it does is it's a click stun that knocks everything up in its path. It never runs out, it will always keep going to try to hit the enemy. And it's really good, in my opinion. Yeah, the, the, this guy has a lot of CC, amazing at ganking. You run out, you staggering blow somebody, snare, beautiful, dredge line. I actually really like this ability because it doesn't abilities. punish you for hitting terrain. It yeah. actually rewards you for hitting terrain. You pull it closer to them, and you have a lower cooldown. It's kind of like I can hit the tower or the... I can hit the destroyed ruins, I can hit the wall, I can hit the trees, pull myself to you. I'm closer to this than a champ, so I can rip time to hit them, and they'll slow down for maybe a staggering blow, or that you'll be close enough that after that six seconds is up, you can get another dredge line in there and then start your whole combo. Yeah. And I really think that that's a really cool idea that they're bringing in. They're bringing... It's a... It's an amazing concept, I think. It, I, it's, I want more champions with it. I think it's a lot of fun to play with. It's really cool. Titan's Wrath, as well, really forces a team to focus him down and break that shield, because if it stays up, he can do an amazing amount of damage. Yeah, it's. I think it's about 220 each time the dot remains up, so you get. it just keeps dealing damage over and over again. The more he just kind of stands there and sits next to your carry, he hurts. You need to get him out of there. You need to get that shield off. It's it's really cool. Riptide, it's an AoE slow. Uh, I love Sejuani, but this slow is pretty cool. It, yeah. it's, it is decaying. It does decay over time. So, and But it's it's still a slow. It it's is. beautiful. And yeah, depth charge. Depth charge is just... It's a, it's a click stun. It's what it is. It's, uh, it's a ridiculous this... click stun. It's a, it's a knock up and it's a stun. I mean, you know what I mean. This is definitely something that separates the good Nautilus players from the bad Nautilus players, because the good Nautilus players will know who to target with their Depth Charge to knock up as many people as possible, much like Lee Sins with their Dragon Kick. Uh, and then you'll see, you know, the average Nautilus is just clicking on somebody, stunning them. So, really cool, definitely something to see. Uh, we see a lot of Nautilus junglers, definitely really good. Uh, has sustain uh, issues though, doesn't he? Do he I? has a lot of sustain issues in the jungle, in my opinion. I feel like he's really man and heavy champion, which I don't really like those in the jungle because there's only very few champions that are AP. I feel that can do well in the jungle. And Mumu's one of them. The Singe is definitely not one of them. I know you've probably seen some jungle Singes out there, but Nautilus, I think, is one of the big exceptions. He buys a Philly Stone. His mana problems aren't solved, but it really, really helps. 
and I feel he's definitely amazing in the jungle. He's a great top solo, so if you really need a top solo, you can put him up there, and it's the easiest easiest gang, uh, lane to gank in the world. Oh, it's beautiful. It is. Between the CC, CC. And your, uh, between the CC with your jungle and, and yeah, his the, CC, it's... It's over. Like The top solo's not going anywhere. Yeah, he's dead. He overextends, he's dead. And it's really easy for Nautilus to get pushed up, because he can't really push at all unless he uses abilities so you're not a list player if you're in communication with them tell him not to use abilities and he's for you have to force the enemy to push up it's really cool um you had a very interesting build i did on nautilus i've been told it's a very weird build i feel it's really i feel it, it helps a lot with him because i don't buy the hog like a lot of nautilus seem to do i buy a philly stone i buy mercury treads and i buy a frozen mallet on him it doesn't help him with his abilities, but what it does is it kind of turns him into like a semi Sejuani, you know what I mean? He may not be slowing five people with, you know, just having that shield of that, you know, ice ball things around there. I don't know how that thing's called. But he picks somebody, and they never go anywhere. They're snared, they've been pulled back, they're slowed from Riptide, they're slowed from basic attacks. And if you really need to get that kill, you can depth charge, and they will never get away from you. You gank someone, and they're gone. Just straight up. So, so DY, why, uh, why the frozen mallet over the Raleigh's crystal scepter? I feel like his cooldowns on this champion are really long. I mean, at 20 seconds for Titan's Wrath, at about 12 seconds for Riptide, and about 12 seconds for um, Dredge Line, he just doesn't have the ability to keep spamming his abilities to keep someone permanently slowed. I've tried it. It doesn't really work. I mean, they get away that they use that flash to get away, and you can't catch up to them. The slows longer and is a lot stronger on the frozen mallet, and you can get and it means you have more time to wait for your dredge line to come back up to catch them if they use a flash or some form of escape mechanism, and that's why I feel it's just a better item on him, and it makes him much more tanky than the Rylize does. That makes a lot of sense. So yeah, all in all, fantastic champion. Really like him. Yeah, he's he's really great. Like to see uh, what the pros do with him. Like to see what kind of what sort of strategies emerge uh, focused around this champion. And he's a definite buy on him. One last thing is a frozen heart. You always want to buy that for the mana and CDR. He's amazing with it. Believe me, you'll love having it on him. Indeed, great tank item. He's a great tank item. He's an amazing tank. I definitely say recommend picking him up. And I can't wait to see the pros start messing with him. I can't wait to see like maybe Saint Vicious will start. Uh, jungling him, maybe the odd one, or maybe Dan Din. I think it'd be really cool to see those guys. And I can't wait to see if they pick him up. And Definitely run. cool to see. Yep. And that's all we got this week, guys. We'll see all you right. later. See you.